Florida Project is a new film from director Sean Baker whose previous film was Tangerine which was shot almost entirely on the iPhone I believe and going into this film I really had no idea what to expect I hadn't seen a trailer it was one of those films like Good Time actually where I didn't really know anything about it all I'd heard was that it's supposed to have been really amazing and so I thought I just, I've just got to check it out and I'd seen some pictures I'd seen some images and some stills but that was kind of it I hadn't seen any footage I didn't really know what this movie was going to be about and coming out I was pleasantly surprised. Now, I didn't love this film. I didn't flat out think it was absolutely fantastic. But I do think it was a really great film. I really admire what the director did with this film because it was a very kind of low budget, a very kind of small scale indie film. And it did drag at times. I felt like it was a little bit longer than it needed to be. And maybe it could have been, you know, tightened up and been a little bit sharper, a little bit quicker and not been as long as it was. But at the same time, I really respect and admire the director for doing something that was very kind of just low budget, very independent, you know, with a lot of first time actors, a lot of just kind of improvisation off the cuff, you know, even some kind of guerrilla style filmmaking there. A lot of stuff I can relate to as someone who did a lot of kind of student films back at college and university. <laughs> And I think for the most part it really worked. And what I've got to say straight off the top here is that even though it was a very kind of low budget, small scale indie film, this movie looked beautiful. It was so well shot with the colours, with just lighting, the cinematography. It looked great. And it's pretty much just set and filmed in this one small environment in the back lot, you know, of, of Disney, you know, in this like, motel area. And it follows these group of kids and this particular this one main little girl and her mother and the kind of... Uh, kind of their very kind of unorthodox uh, the trials and tribulations that they go on throughout the film as they're struggling to kind of live in this place that isn't that great and they haven't got a, a lot of money and the film basically is all about the housing crisis and how these people are, are, are very poor and they're stuck in this dump essentially and it follows the kind of the trials and tribulations of that main girl and her mother and maybe at times it, it did get a little tiring and repetitive just because it's basically just following this little girl, her relationship with her mother, her relationship with her friends, and it felt like it was just like they were just dragging it out of the course of a, a feature-length film. It probably would have made a really fantastic little short film, but I do really like the, the intentions behind this movie, where it was just about that, you know, it wasn't trying to be some big thing, you know, it was just mainly about this little girl and her relationship with her mother, with her friends, in this one environment. Like I said, maybe at times that wasn't really enough to make up like a, what was it, almost two hour film. I felt like it maybe could have been trimmed down to an hour and a half. But, on the most part, I did like it a whole lot more than I disliked it. And as I mentioned, this movie looks really great. It was very low budget. I mean, it must have been an independent film. But it looked fantastic. It was really well directed. The colours really stood out with the motel with the purple there. And just in terms of how it was shot, it just it just looked absolutely fantastic. And also, one of the best things about this film, one of the things that really stood out, despite the fact that it was very small scale, very low budget, not a lot was going on, the performances really stood out and really helped carry this film. And particularly the main little girl, because Obviously, the little girl has this relationship with her mother, and she comes in every now and then, but for the most part, this little girl is kind of like the lead in the film. She has, to think, more screen time than anybody else. And I think the little kids in this film are first-time actors, and they did an incredible job, particularly that main little girl who played the, the main character in the film, Mooney. She was great, you know. She was very sharp and witty, and she really helped carry the film. I mean, she wasn't carrying the film all on her own because, obviously, they did have the mother. There was a lot of other characters in the film. William Defoe's in there. He was really great. But this little girl had a really big part, and she did an incredible job, and she had some of the best moments in this film. She was very sharp and witty, and if she is a first-time actor, I think she's got a real bright future ahead of her because I think she was really great. The performances just felt very authentic. They felt very real and raw. And that's what really kind of helped make this movie feel very real and authentic because like, the performances were very authentic. They felt like real people. It didn't feel like actors. But of course, we did get a very kind of seasoned, experienced actor in there with William Dafoe. And he's the kind of the main supporting character in the movie. And he was really great. He didn't have a ginormous role, but he is the main supporting actor. And I think he did a really good job. And maybe he might even get nominated to come on board season. I don't know. But his part helped us kind of connect with the film because there's a lot of kind of crazy 
out of control thing that's going on in this movie with these kind of crazy characters but he's this kind of very real guy who's just trying to run this motel and run this business and all this stuff and all this crazy things are going on around him and we can really relate to his character like oh my god that it must be like really hard him trying to deal with all this with all this crazy shenanigans going on all around him and he's just trying to kind of run this place and you know sort things out and I think he did a really great job. And one of the things I like most about this film is that it reminds me of Room a little bit. In my room it's dealing with very kind of serious, dark subject matter, but it's kind of a life-affirming, uplifting kind of film because it's told entirely through the eyes of the little boy there and he's very innocent. He doesn't realise what's going on. It's, in, it's intensely kind of horrible and dark and disgusting because he's just seeing it that's all he's ever known. And it's kind of a similar thing here with a little girl because it's told almost entirely through the eyes of this little girl. And it starts off and it's a very kind of charming, warm, feel-good film because it, obviously it's dealing with very kind of serious subject matter like the housing crisis and these poor families who haven't got very much money and they're just stuck in this backlog in this motel. But because it's told almost entirely through the eyes of this little girl, it is very, for the most part, kind of warm and charming and uplifting and it's quite a feel-good film because we're just seeing it through the eyes of this little girl and she's just having a great time and she's going off with her friends and she doesn't realise what's going on is quite kind of serious and, and intense but what I liked about the film was that even though it started off very warm and very kind of charming as it went on it did get a little darker more serious and to the point where it ends on quite a serious note and we come to realise at that point yeah this is quite kind of dark serious subject matter this film is dealing with it's just that because the majority of the film we're seeing it through the eyes of this little girl she's having a great time and she's having a lot of fun this is all she's ever known this is her life and she's she's having a great time and then as it goes on we realize how serious this situation is and how it's not going to end well and I like that. I think it was done really well because for the most part I was like, oh, this is quite a kind of charming, kind of uh, uplifting kind of film. But then as it went on, it did get darker. And it did end in quite a serious note and quite a powerful note. I mean, it does end quite abruptly and quite in kind of a jarring way. But I think it did work because the whole film is building up to that and it's leading to this kind of, this kind of serious um, moment that it ends on. And I felt like the, the very final shot... Obviously, there was some guerrilla style filmmaking involved there, but it did feel a little jarring how it cuts to that final moment. It did feel like it wasn't really part of the same movie. It did feel completely different, you know, visually in terms of how it was filmed from the rest of the movie. But I'm pretty sure that's what he was going for. And it did work. It just took me out of the film a little bit because I was like, oh, this is a little jarring. This is a little bit different. But... On the most part, I thought this film was really great. I had, I had a couple of little issues. I felt like it did drag at times. It felt like they were dragging this kind of one thing over a film that was longer than it needed to be. I felt like it could have been shaved down and trimmed down to like an hour and a half and been a lot tighter and sharper and quicker and fast moving. It did drag at times for me. But overall, that aside, I thought this was a really great film. Dealt with kind of very serious subject matter but in a way that was quite warm and charming, seeing it through the eyes of this little girl and the interactions that she had with her friends. It was kind of very funny and very quick-witted, very sharp and witty, very uh, funny at times also, but it, it also dealt with this serious, more dramatic subject matter and a very well-directed film. It may have been a very small little indie film, but it was spectacular from a visual standpoint. It looked gorgeous with the colours, the lighting, the cinematography. It looked really incredible and I actually thought this film was really great I didn't love it you know I had a, a little bit of a problem with it as far as you know the pacing and felt like it could have been you know tighter and sharper and not as long as it was but overall that being said I'm gonna give the Florida Project a very well deserved four stars and there we have it that wraps up my review of the Florida Project have you seen the film? And if so, what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you like this and you haven't already, be sure to click subscribe to see more. If you missed my last film review, be sure to go ahead and click over here to catch up on my last review, or perhaps down here to catch up on another of my recent videos. But with that said, I've been David O'Sullivan. I'll see you next time.